There is an enormous student protest that continues to unfold at the administration building at Howard University right now. It started hours ago. They are protesting there after the university president admitted six people were fired for stealing financial aid money. But here's the thing. The president of the school knew about this in 2016. An investigation wrapped up in 2017, but the whole thing never came out. It wasn't public until a whistleblower released the story just a few days ago. So let's go out to uh, John Henry, who's live there on the campus at Howard as that protest continues to go on. John, what have you found out about how long they're willing to stay in protest? Adam, they say they plan on staying here the entire night throughout the night, as long as it takes to get the president of Howard uh, off the university and off of his job, uh, Wayne Frederick. You can see right here at the administration building, obviously it's still a very active scene. There are police officers here with Howard. There are also students here as well. We're told there's roughly about 250 students who are inside. They're on all the floors. Um, and they're once again uh, very enthusiastic about having change happen here at Howard. Uh, I'm right now with one of those students here. Um, I'm going to kind of share my microphone here with you. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Alexis McKinney. Okay. And Alexis, you were telling me you're the whistleblower in all this. Uh, not, not me. It's okay. a collective of students called HE Resist. Uh, we've been organizing since last February. Um, but this year we've definitely grown, grown in our base. Uh, we have about 30 core organizers who really help make tonight happen. All right, so tell me, you guys, as you were telling me over the phone, you guys plan on staying here all night. If it takes yeah, time. we'll stay here all weekend. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Uh, until what happens? Until our demands are met. Or it, um, we can enter negotiations with the university. Uh, to get the president off, uh, off his job? That's only one of our demands. We have a list um, which include things such as disarming campus police. They've continuously caused a threat to students, even, they're, they're, even though they're supposed to be here for our protection. Um, they've intimidated HE Resist organizers. I myself has been, have been abused by the campus police here. Um, other things are we want a community center. We want Howard not to continue to perpetuate gentrification here um, with the high-rise apartments that they're building all over and around this area with the affordable incomes being 1500 no one, No students, a lot of faculty, and especially D.C. community members can't afford that. Can you tell me what is it like inside right now? Um, right now, we've broken up into groups. We have about 250 students. Um, we've broken up into different groups on different levels, and we're having conversations about what student power means, because that's what the crux of our demands are about. We want a democratic institution. I saw a couple of officers go in as well. What has your interaction been like with them? Uh, we're trying to interact with them as little as possible. Honestly, we want them to be out of the building by the end of the night. Hello. Are um, they telling you anything right now, though? No, we're not in communication with them. Okay. Is there anything else you think we should know just about what you guys are doing? In there? Um, I think it's important that people know that what we want is not just the resignation of Wayne Frederick, but also we want student empowerment. We deserve to have a, a vote and a, a, a say and influence in the way that this university is run. We are the major stakeholders in this institution, and it's ridiculous that we have no say. Um, and so we want a majority democratization of this university so that we can have more influence and power within the decisions of the Board of Trustees. Right, well, thank you so much for joining us here in Off Script. And once again, as you heard, they're going to stay here as long as it takes until they say real change is accomplished here at Howard. Adam? John, I just heard her say that she is hoping that the police presence inside of that building is out by the end of the night. I imagine the shoe is on the other foot, too, where the police might want them out. They've occupied the administration building. Have we heard anything from police or authorities there on the scene that they could try to go in and break up this protest and make everyone leave the building? To be honest, no, we haven't heard anything uh, of that sort yet. I've probably seen probably uh, 10 officers or so hanging outside here, about five inside as well. Uh, there's a couple actually right here behind me. You can see their cruiser. Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, from what we've seen, pretty hands-off approach. We've actually seen some walking around um, with pizza boxes, uh, most likely for their lunch break and possibly giving them to some of the students. We're not 100% sure. Um, but there hasn't been any confrontations between, between either of the two sides. And you can see right there uh, at the entrance of the building, people are walking in and outside of the administration building right now as well. So um, it's definitely a very emotional 
atmosphere out here, but not confrontational. This an issue of larceny and transparency. A million dollars stolen of financial aid money from the university. Students there just finding out about it, and they are angry. They want the president to resign. This is a story that we will be following closely throughout the evening. John Henry, thank you very much for that. Again, about 250 people there gathered inside the administration building. Those numbers could grow as we progress through this evening.